Yo, follow me on Twitch. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to this Platoon 3 single player. Last episode, we finished World 5, and now we're moving on to World 6. Site 6, sorry. I, we're going to beat the game before I actually remember to call them sites and not worlds. It's not what they are. Happiness Research Lab. That doesn't sound dystopian or creepy at all. Don't worry about that. <clears throat> I see lots of sea, but there's hardly any land. Yeah, that's kind of... Oh, it's like a city. It's like a shitty city underwater. I wonder how long it's been like this. Oh, hey! <laughs> yeah, you really dwelled on that question for a long time, Marie. I'm getting a whole bunch of readings from the top of that weird building over there. Yeah? Okay. That's gotta be Gramps. Come on, Agent 3, let's go. Let's do it. Let's go see Gramps. The last two times it wasn't. Surely th this time it will be. Oh, God, this is gonna be an adventure and a half, isn't it? Okay, here we go. Give it! I can't get that! Oh, yes, I can. Go, go, go. Oh, okay, ink rails make sense. It'd be ink rails going through here. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Oh, I definitely whiff this. It's all the way over there? How the... How am I gonna get there? Whatever. Okay, we'll get that balloon a separate... There it goes. Up into space. Never to be popped. Oh, there it goes. It pops. <laughs> okay, hold on. We got to backtrack here. Oh, I'm stuck here. Whoa, how do I get... I can't get back. Okay, I would like to do this in order. I mean, I wouldn't. I really don't give a shit. This is insane. This is way bigger than I thought it was. Why does this building look familiar? I feel like I've seen one of these in real life before. Like this type of building that's like two buildings connected by a huge, like building in this like it's one building and then two large on the I don't know maybe I'm tripping um let's just go and unlock everything and then see how much we can discover here and then we'll hop into a level got this bit and nothing particularly special here okay interesting you know what else I notice oh there is music but it's creepy the music in this game is typically very fun and Interesting and mysterious and in, in uh, inquisitive. This one not so much. This one's just sad and creepy and I don't like it. Okay, so I am definitely stuck here. Like, how would I get back down? Can I make this show? Oh my god. Okay. There was like an invisible wall stopping me. I couldn't... I couldn't advance. Okay, now I'm back here. Okay, this is all we had to do was just die. <laughs> the simple solution. Okay, all right, so let's do level one, which is right here. We'll get this one done and also uncover that and that. What's the- okay, thank you. That's a path back in case we wanted to backtrack, which is good. And that's for who knows what. Something in the future. Okay, so now that that is done, here we go, level one, let's do it. Bet you missed us. <laughs> Defeat the enemy sneaking around in the mist, reach the goal. Okay, another one of these levels. This is- pfft. This is- pfft. You know what I'm saying? This is like a little bit of, you know, I can do this. I can handle this. I have a feeling the finale is going to be like two episodes. This Octo expansion ended up being like that, where it was just like, oh, okay, it's the finale. I'll just do one episode. But it's just like, it's a long finale. The finale itself is like 10 things. Oh, this is Octa Octoling music. I haven't heard this in, since Splatoon 2. Wow. This, this song has carried across all three games. It's a dope song. <laughs> Can't even be a hater about it. Um, where's the, oh, I have to go this way. Okay, I actually have to go somewhere. Oh, there they are. Are they wearing... I thought they were wearing lab coats. I know I'm tripping. It, it really looked like that, though. I don't know. I, th I thought it was that. Okay, let's, um, let's be careful here. Oh, that just eviscerated that, huh? See, these Octolings are very smart. We've already fought Octolings before, so I don't know why... I thought they were wearing lab coats this time. Oh, I'm injured. I hate it. I hate it. I got Cheetos flying off of me. There we go. Done. Okay. Uh, that's definitely not... Whoa. You could, like, see the splashes of ink falling in the water. That's so cool. It's so cool how detailed it is. Boom. Excuse me. Okay. I'm obviously going to need that. These guys are giving me a run for my money. How about that? Oh, I only have Roomba. You have a water ball in the way, so I couldn't tell if I had, like, other bombs to use. Little Buddy would be really helpful in this circumstance, but I don't have him. So, Roomba will do, though, because I could just speed through it. 
Excuse me, ma'am. Ooh, no, 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 no. Oh, this is how we're gonna play. Okay, I'm X rank. Do you understand what that means? Because I don't. Please explain it to me. Yeah, there it is. There we go. There we go. Okay, now, now we're gonna breeze through it. Oh, that's a weird bridge. <laughs> okay, now we can just get through this real quick. Wasn't there one down here? Oh, there she is! So yes, was the answer I was looking for. Okay, Clash Blaster. I see how Clash Blaster was a challenge for this. There we go. Now I'm getting it. Now you're cooking with gas. Whee! <laughs> okay. Uh, there we are. Oh, this should be a breeze. I can figure it out. Oh, man, come on. I've whiffed with this this entire single player. All I want to do is use it and have fun. I have not been able to do that. Did I kill all of them just then? That was a massacre. Wow. <laughs> Literally no mercy. I'm level 93? With the turf thing? That's insane. Hey, that is a lot. I don't remember getting that much. I guess when you get those discs, it levels you up too. So it happened a lot quicker than just covering turf until I got to level 93. I don't understand the level though. Like, you, you get one. Maybe it's just how many you've gotten total. How many upgrades you've gotten, or how many of those turf, how many of those points you've got? I don't know. Okay, I'm assuming this has to do with this. Ah, it does. Really funny if that thing rode the, uh, <laughs> the, the ink launcher or whatever it is. They're weak, they're weak. Oh, dude, huge W. And now it's just you, you're done. You're straight up done. And so is the level. That was actually an aggressive start. I'm guessing because this is the last bundle of levels. Oh, bet you missed us. Yeah, because they were from the previous game. I missed them. I really didn't. I really didn't, though. So that name is dumb. <laughs> it's pointless because it's dumb. All right. Um, Have I gotten everything? This section is no longer green. Hello, Callie. Gifts for me. Extra power eggs. Thank you very much. Not many, but you know what? Your shortcomings will be forgiven. Oh, so that's what I needed to do, because I was tracing- I was following that balloon. That's why I missed those things allow me to look back. One more Sardinium, and then I can get the next upgrade. Which I think is the last, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, no, it's the second to last. So we need- there's quite a few left, apparently. Which is weird, because if this is the last world, there can only be so much. Oh well. Alright. So for this one, I'm guessing there's something in the corner here. No. There's actually no level here. There's nothing here. Really? There's that. Like, there really is no... What? Why is it green? It's green as if there's something over here. Uh... What is he attacking? There's something... Th okay, that's what that is. I apparently threw him right on top of it without knowing that there was something there. <laughs> okay, that's why that was so confusing. So now it's probably not green anymore, right? Now it's- okay, so we explored that. So we got this level next. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and unlock that since we got it. I'm surprised this ink is only in the overworld and doesn't appear in the levels. The levels are completely safe from all that stuff. It's kind of strange, right? Uh, I might I might be reading too far into it, which is probably what you could just call this series. Jay reads too far into the Splatoon single player. That's what I would call it. Um, in fact, it's up to me to just maybe I'll just rename the entire thing. <laughs> uh, conserve ink splat sustainably. Okay, reach the goal before running out of ink. That's one of these again, which is whatever. I've done these before. I can do it again. You know what I mean? Nothing I'm not used to. Bring it on. There we go. Oh, by the way. Something I noticed, um, when I was looking at those pieces that we collected from the Shiver boss fight, um, and- and the Fry boss fight, I'm guessing Big Man's gonna be next. I don't know what that's gonna be like, but we'll see. Um, oh my god, what am I doing?! I'm sitting here playing sweaty-ass Splatoon. I'm supposed to conserve my ink, moron. I might actually still be able to do it. If I'm careful. 
Where the hell am I supposed to go, though? Do I have to kill them? No, I don't. I can just keep moving. I'm such an idiot. I was really spending my ink like, oh, okay, just gonna bless this level. Do what I normally do, you know? No. I like that. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. Well, let's see if I can get through this without using any ink. <laughs> New challenge. Creepy ass. I hate that guy. I hate them. They're my, literally my least favorite. They're the most annoying. Go. No. Oh, shoot. Bitch, you... Mm, you're gonna make me use ink, aren't you? I hate you. I hate them. Okay. Let's see. I just gotta avoid everyone. Just gotta run. As far as I can. This is a no swimming, running and dodging level. Oh, they, they're smart now. They're smart. They shoot ahead of you. Oh, interesting. They gained, they gained a little bit of, a little bit of smarts. They're still dumb idiots though. Yeah, see he like aims ahead of where you're going. That's so interesting. Not doing a good job at it though. Let's see if I can, it'd be so funny if I could still beat this level despite me completely whiffing it at the beginning. I, there's so many of these guys. <laughs> hey, fellas, I'm just gonna ignore you and continue moving because I'm short on ink. Okay. Oh, geez. This is hell. Oh, this really is hell. Wait, how did I get through that? How actually did I get through that? What? Okay, I, I should not be doing this with as low ink as I have. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, great, the ultimate challenge. Wait, I might be able to do this. Just one tap. Oh my god, I actually beat that level, despite throwing it all away at the beginning. <laughs> well, I, uh, okay. I didn't splat sustainably, I kind of dumped it all at the beginning, and then realized, oh shit, I need to conserve my ink. <laughs> and somehow, still managed to beat the level by the skin of my teeth. Um, so that's <laughs> it. I'll take that any day of the week, I guess. Um, I don't know how to get up there to get that. There might be an ink rail somewhere that leads me to it. So we'll consider that done. Oh, here we go. This actually, this whole section here. Or something. I, this is how I get this. Which is what stopped me. Killed me in the future. What's in there? Like servers? See, there's like, lights are still on. Like, things are still going. That's what amazes me about this. Like, if humanity died thousands of years ago, then like, how are things still functioning? I don't know. Breathe in, breathe out. Time your movements carefully to reach the goal. Well, this is... That's the thing about Splatoon single player, is when levels are named something zen, like, relax. Breathe in, breathe out. It's the most stressful level that Nintendo ever designed. Nine times out of ten. I guarantee you. And choosing Slosh and Machine, I feel like I'm gonna regret it. Oh, it's actually breathing in and out. I see. That's freaky. Okay. Um, let me, uh, here. I guess I'll go in. And participate. It's alive. He's still alive. Okay, nice. Oh, there we go. Oh, so I just follow it around. Uh, don't follow that. It's not going to make it. Okay. This is an interesting level design. Interesting in terms of, like, it's cool. I like it. It's really cool. Clever. It's like, you got to move with the moving parts. I like that. This, you know, the people who made this game, they did a good job, I think. I think, I think I'll give them a pat on the back. For making a good video game. <sighs> this part sucks. I'm trying to figure out where I need to go. I guess I'm just gonna keep going up. Follow the yellow brick road, so to speak. That's what they all say, right? Who is they? Who is they and what are they, what do they say? Um, assuming, I don't remember that L being there. Okay, I actually, it's because it wasn't. Here we go, it actually spawned from beating the enemies, I'm guessing. That's why. Okay. Up and away. Hey, buddy. I'm just gonna... Yeah, you better run. I mean, I can make these jumps. At this point, it's not as consequential. Careful, careful, careful. Don't... Really? Don't die to this fool. The sniper guys are the most dangerous ones. Arguably. At this point. Oh, okay this and then we're done okay not a bad level at all whoa what on earth Look at all this cra crazy shit that they modeled what even is this I, I don't even know I don't even know but I love it I love how creepy and weird and insane it looks
All right, nicely done. We're just breezing right through it. I'm guessing you get something for 1000 percenting the game and, and beating every level with every weapon. Now, in Octo Expansion, you didn't. So I wonder if in this game they will do- Ew! I do not like the realism and 3D-ism that this has. Why'd they kill it and turn it into a kite? Why are they cooking it in the bottom right? So many questions, it's late at night. Seems these are instructions on how to mummify an inkling. That's what this looks like? Maybe in olden times, inklings thought if they preserved their bodies after death, they could be revived someday? But that's, well, there's no way this is a real one stuck here, right? No, of course it isn't. Right? Dude, we think this is paper mache art class, fifth grade? That's a real goddamn squid. Not an ink. is it an inkling? I, I, girl, I don't even know. We beat two levels so far? Three, so we could probably check the archives, probably got something in there for us. Or the lot, the, 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 the log. The beings, oh, the land of fresh beginnings. Oh boy, Ankopolis, here we go. The beings that had emerged from the water soon emerged from the caverns of Alterna itself. From there, they flourished quickly. It wasn't long before they had explored every corner of the world. It, what are they? I would love to see that. Just a bunch of squids flopping around. Hello. Oh, there's a level here. Hang on. No, actually, I need to stay on this island real quick because there's shit to do. Secrets, secrets, secrets. Secrets, secrets are no fun. Oh, there is one. I'm, I'm over here looking at the wrong part of the map. There we go. Okay, that was kind of lackluster, but whatever. What are we dealing with here? It's all interconnected. Dun -dun. Okay. So then we can... I see that red balloon. Perhaps I can... Nope. Okay. That one floating red balloon that is on every level is haunting me. Keep... You, uh, reach the goal using a roller. Keep it rolling. All right, let's do it. Let's do it! You know, the roller was my first main weapon in Splatoon, back in Splatoon 3. I, I'm talking like a grandpa. You know, back in my day, the roller was my first ever weapon. Yeah, it was. It was. It's true. Sit. I look at this and I see sit. Not as close as you'll get, buddy. I look at this and I see... Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> That's what I see. Oh man, Rorschach test in Splatoon. All right. Uh, ah, the best song in the game. I'll keep it rolling. Okay. Just gotta keep rolling through. Oh, this is fun. I love these levels that are just really straightforward and easy. All you gotta do is just roll and have fun, and then you are straight up done. Go. And gotcha. And yeah, give me that. Don't hide nothing from me. You know what I'm saying? I want all the good stuff. Oh, what's that? Oops! <laughs> oh, what's that? Oops! <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, uh, I guess that's what it is. This song is so good. Oh, that must have hurt. Oh, that felt great on my end, but for them, whew, a rough way to go. Rough way to go, dude. Gotcha. I'll take that. And squish. Roller is a great weapon. Like I was saying, it was my first main weapon. Obviously, in Splatoon 1, you didn't have the vertical flick. So that was kind of insane. I remember when it came out for Splatoon. Uh, Splatoon 2, how crazy it was. It was, uh, it was really like, wow, what? You can do vertical flicks now? It's like insane tech. And then, uh, I mean, I guess it is. I guess we can't imagine rollers without it now, because it's like, wow, it makes so much sense to have that. It really is a w What is this octopus tentacle pillow? Why has it got a texture like that? Gross. Go over there and blow that up. Perfect timing, Roomba. I'm an- I'm a G. What do you want? Besides how much I'm a G. Oh, hey. That dude was just sitting back here, like, what, chewing tobacco? What, he's just sitting here alone? Let me up. Squid Surge. That's what that's for. Surprise. Oh, I wonder what that was. <gasps> Oops. Oops. 
Oops. Hang on. I'll probably get something. Oh, actually, I beat the level. There we go. That's what I get. There you go. Got it. All right. Now we're done, dude. Now we straight up got it. Keep it rolling, baby. Keep it rolling. So are we stuck with this water bottle like forever? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I was saying before I realized I was wasting all my ink in that one level. I was saying earlier that I was looking at the pieces that we got from the Shiver and Fry boss fight and I realized something about them. Um, this is all speculation. Oh, lobby terminal. That's an awesome item. Um, it's all speculation. Because again, I haven't actually seen this game. Like, I'm genuinely playing this without seeing what goes on. So I don't, I'm, I really like that I don't know what's happening. So it's all theories. But, and obviously, like, the go-to was, it looks like a motorcycle chassis. And, or a, not even a chassis, it's a, a frame. I guess that would be a chassis, right? Um, whatever, a motorcycle frame. And, uh, before I read this. Oh, well, let me read this first. Oh! Dude. Pearl and Marina! After leaping from Angopolis Square to the world stage, Off the Hook has found their new side project, performing vocals for a rising rock band as Damp Socks featuring Off the Hook. Discovered online, their super talented collaborations offer an upbeat, melancholy sound that Off Hooked. Off hooked, off, off hooked. Is that a, some, a word that I'm not familiar with? Anyway, the song that they made, this collaboration song, Damn Socks featuring Off the Hook, absolute banger. <laughs> absolute banger song. Um, anyways, as I was saying, I was discovering something, thank you. As I was saying, I was looking at the parts and it's like, oh, it's obviously a frame for a. How the hell do you get up to. Oh, okay, in, in grills. It's obviously a frame for a motorcycle, right? It's got the motorcycle chassis, and it's got, like, gears and stuff, and, like, brakes. And I was like, okay, that's obvious. But then I looked at it more, and there's, like, blades. Several blades and several gears. Or several disc brakes. So I'm like, okay, wait a minute. I, I think we're gonna, like, have subverted expectations. Like, what, or what if we build some something that isn't a motorcycle? Several blades? What could that possibly be? You know what I mean? Maybe it's a helicopter? Maybe it's like an off-road off thing? Where the blades like are spinning in the ground? Maybe it's a robot? This <laughs> is an airplane? Many possibilities. Aerospray? Oh boy, here we go. I don't know, dude. I'm excited. Or maybe it is just a motorcycle. It could just be a motorcycle at the end of the day. I don't know. Ooh, race car. What's that? Oh, something started. Oh, go, 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 go! I'm a speedrunner, so I'm not worried about this. I'll just get on. <laughs> I love using that as an excuse for things. I'm a speedrunner, so... It really doesn't mean much to me, to be honest. Okay, can I do this? Six seconds doesn't feel like ample to- oh, okay. We're playing the checkpoint give you extra time game. It's, 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 everybody knows that game, of course. Whee! Oh, I wanted that. That's okay. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Checkpoint. Got it. Okay. Oh, why do you have to have this windy ass? Just go straight. It's not that hard. Who's programming these things? Figure out what you want and then go. I could just go. Why don't we even, don't even follow them? It's even the point. <laughs> there you go. Oh my god, this level's going up. It's like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe right here. Holy crap. <laughs> okay, was that just meant to disorient me? Disorient me? Apparently it did. <laughs> so I can't conform a coherent sentence. Or words after that. There. Make our way down. This is fun, though. I mean, I definitely feel the pressure that I need to keep moving. Which is obviously expected. But it's kind of fun. Oh my god! Okay. I thought maybe I did that wrong. We're fine. Level done. GG's. Cool. That, <laughs> I think I might have butchered some stuff at that last part there, but regardless, the result was the same. We beat the level, and now here we are. Very good job. Very good time.
I'm really enjoying this, man. I wish it weren't 3 a.m. Um, because I definitely- I feel like I'd be enjoying it a lot more. But I've got so much to worry about <laughs> with the release of Splatoon 3 and making content and everything. That, like, my main focus is just getting this done as quick as possible. So here we are at 3 a.m. attempting to do such a thing. Can I climb these to get up there? How would I make it to the top of that? So that I can- oh that- wait, 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 wait. Can I- I still can't climb up there. Also, Alterna, like, servers? What's going on, man? What's going on? I forget how humanity perished. What was, like, the reason behind that? For the entire world's been brilled. See, it starts here. As technology advanced in X-Men space, so did prosperity and ultimately conflict. Oh, conflict, like war. Human squabble, natural disasters intensify, volcanic eruptions, leveled cities, sea levels rose. Okay, so it was that. And then they were like, oh shit, we gotta get shit going. We're gonna recreate humanity down here. And then they did, it's so weird seeing humans. Wow. And then they did, and then suddenly they found really cool shit they could make out of squid juice. Wow, we could recreate the sky and live in humanity again. Now, no. I want to go back up to the surface. Oh shit, the rocket got fucked up. Everyone's dead. Everyone died. Then the crystals fell to the ground and merged with the squids. And then the squids started walking on land. And then they formed... This story is dumb. <laughs> it's awesome. But if you read it the way that I just read it, it's like, what the... What are you talking about? <laughs> what is this story? <laughs> I love it. I think it's so cool. It's so weird and 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 strange exact and bizarre Exactly like Splatoon is expected to be and for that. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, I got max level Nice. I didn't know you could do that So I guess I have enough to get all the upgrades that I need then um, I guess any story when you read it the way that I just read it in Jay's dumb synopsis voice um I suppose every story is bad. <laughs> it's not bad. It's just like, wow, that's really... We're talking about squids coming to life. What a concept. But I guess it always was a weird concept. And they're not trying to make it realistic. <laughs> it's just trying to be like, wow, this is really... A, this is a thing that happened. Humanity is so far ahead in the future that this is what goes on. So it's like the year, you know, 3522. Or some shit like that. Like, way in the way future. I would guess. I don't know. I'm guessing that's what they're trying to convey. This is the regular splatter shot? Why not the hero shot? Why the regular... Okay. All right. You must reclaim keys from enemies. I don't the goal. Okay. That's pretty straightforward. It's weird, though, that it's a splatter shot and not the hero shot, which are the same thing. I guess they want you to have a non... Oh, my God. You know, the music is perfect for this. These, these are my least favorite enemies. If you watched my single player playthrough and my single player uh, speed run from years and years ago, I think Aku Expansion had them too. You would know I have a personal hatred, strong hatred for these types of enemies. They are literally the worst. Okay. It's Please. Wait, I can lay ink mines. I'm sure there's an advantage to that somewhere. Got one. Got a key. Okay. One down. Hell has frozen over. Okay. Ah, I didn't even have a key. What was even the point? Ugh. Don't waste my time with ones that don't have keys. Alterna boxes. I just realized these are alterna boxes. Oh, oh, sorry. Someone's getting their shipment late. <laughs> My bad. Does he see me? No. I got a straight up key for that. Cool. Thank you. God, these little hellish creatures. Hellish. They are from hell. I hate them. Okay, that had a key. I did have to kill that one. Okay. That's three key skis right there. Surely that's all I need, right? No, there's definitely more because these guys are here. Oh, great. Two. I don't think I'm not going to grab that. Three. Uh, 
God damn it, I need another one. Alright. See if I can dive bomb this dude. Uh, no, the squid roll actually messed me up then. I didn't want that. Okay, hang on. There's a solution. He's smart. He's not that smart. I can push him. Land on my ink mine. There we go. That's how you do it. That is a guy didn't have a key. Ugh. Alright, we're just gonna do that again. Not a problem. That's like human singing. Human opera singing. Weird. Yeah, I guess this is a very human and lore intensive uh, playthrough. Look at the cars! That's so funny, the trucks. And the cars with the boxes flying out of- that's so cool. I love it. I feel like if you didn't 100% this story mode, you really didn't get to enjoy the reality of what's going on. Like, dude, this is like- you have like the A story? That's the, um... It does a thing about playing through this game, right? A lot of people I know, and a lot of people from what I saw, just kind of sped through it. Because they know the main story. Right, which is like, I'm- I'm get- which we haven't even finished yet. Which, so far, is... DJ Octavio- well, even- not even DJ- it's not even DJ Octavio this time. Mr. Grizz, apparently, is involved in this somehow. And you gotta go s save Cuttlefish from Mr. Grizz. I'm guessing. You have to do a boss fight of some kind. But it's like, what the hell is going on, dude? That's that. But then, if you actually do all the levels and you look at the lore, you get this, like, B-plot? This, like, sub-story that, like, explains everything that you're experiencing. Whoa, that's a way better prize. I want that. You get this, like, B-plot that ex- blot. You get this- Hmm, what is this sentence? You get this B-plot that's explaining the story in a way different manner. And it's just like, wow, what is- This is a lot freakier than I anticipated. Alright. So I need to... Do what exactly? Okay, there's a timer up there. And I don't know if picking this was the wrong decision. Is that gonna produce... things? Oh. Found it was sort of soon as you spot all of those bosses. Okay. And here we go. Oh god, it's like this. Okay. Do I need to splat all of them? Oh, Christ. Oh, wait, I can get a triple kill. Dude, I can get several kills in a row? I'm goaded. Hang on. Dude, I'm crushing them. Oh, I don't even need to hit them. On the sweet spots. I can just hit them. I thought they were weak. I thought you had to hit their weak spots with the stamp. You don't even have to do that. You can just shoot them and kill them. Dude, great. This is going well. There we go. I'm sure there's a pattern there I could have followed. But I didn't. Okay. And get those guys. Oh, dude, nice. Is that it? Oh, there's more. Got him. When are we? Oh, there's so much more. Oh, I thought this was done. This reminds me of the box level from Mario Galaxy. Oh, no. I hate it. I hate it now. It reminds me of, you know that thing where you're with Guillermo, or whatever his name is? And you have to, like, destroy all the boxes in Mario Galaxy? That's what this is like. And I hate it. Wait, 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 wait. That's what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to throw them. You're supposed to fu- That's why they were spawning weird. You just follow the- Oh, Jay. Oh, Jay Moji. You goddamn moron. I was sitting here throwing them thinking that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to just follow them with the path. There's a path on the ground that shows you what you're supposed to- where you're supposed to go. run out of this. That's actually faster, though. When it's a straight line like that, it's faster. The middle one? Got it? Okay. For this, let's go straight across. That's actually not faster. How the hell do you do this? Hang on, go, 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 no! Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I know what to do. Thank you, I appreciate that. Watch, I know what to do now. 
Now I know that I need to do this. And just go. And grab another one. And follow it again. Got it. Got it. Nice. And another one. Got it. Grab that. Do a squid roll. Tactical squid roll. And get moving. Turn hard. Destroy the three. Dude, that was clutch. Here it goes. Then that one. Got it. And then. Down the aisle. Down the aisle. I actually didn't destroy as many as I thought it would. But we can do this. Hit that. Hit this. How many more? Where? No! Hurry! Oh no, hurry. Gotta make the shot. Oh no, I couldn't make the shot! No! I was gonna... I was gonna... I was gonna shoot. And then it... The, right as I pressed and released the button, it was like, nah. Oh, you suck, dude. Okay. I can get this still. I can get this. I believe in myself. Even faster this time. We're doing okay. Ourselves. Hard left. Got it. Hard right. Hard left. Hard left. Keep going. Keep going. Got it. Okay. Grab that one. And make a... Th Throw for it. Very nice. Oh, this part sucks. Okay. Three down the lane. Couple down the lane. And the two. Okay. Here we go. Don't mess this up. I have a better idea. Got it. That's it. That's done. Hit it. I hit it straight on. I waited for it. I was ready for it. And it's done. Oh my god. <laughs> The stress, the stress that I feel is insane. That was, <laughs> that was a stress enter the stamp gauntlet. I definitely chose the hardest method to do that though. So I can't even complain about the difficulty of that level. I did that to myself. And that's, you know what? That's fine. I am fine with that. Um, we might actually be done this after this. It's this one and then I think that's it. And then the boss fight, which we, who knows what that's going to be. Who knows? It could be anything. Ooh. Okay. I really don't need to. I really don't need to be clamoring for points anymore. I have so many. I do not need to worry about it. I'm sure. Climb, enemy-filled area to reach the goal. Okay. It's a basic get from A to B simulator. Uh oh. This is the opposite of climbing. We're going down. I thought the end of the level was right there. Hey, buddy. How you doing, buddy? Oh, you little idiot. Am I, which side of the glass am I on, huh? Who's the animal, huh? Oh, I'm coming in. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. It's a lot of fun to be had there. Go get him, guy. Go get him and show him what's up. Ah, oh, he's really getting you, huh? Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Um... Go up there, please. Thank you. I figure out where the hell I'm supposed to go. I guess around here? I can climb. Okay, there you go. Do you have to kill every enemy? I'm not sure, but I got splashed down, so I know it's going to be a good time. Oh, we can do your little disco dance all you want, pal. It's not going to save you now. Oh, I actually have, I have all my subs and specials here. Well, I just have all my subs, and then I have splashed down. <laughs> really all, all, all the guy needs. Some Roombas in a splash down. He's having a good time. Hello, and goodbye. Thank you very much. Climb away we go. And up and at him. I didn't mean to hit that. Well, level beaten, I guess. <laughs> I didn't actually mean to take... Uh, I wanted to take all of them out, but it doesn't matter. Nice. Nice, dude. I really feel it. I feel we're making good progress. Callie's up here, so I'm assuming I'm about to get some shmoney. About to get a payday. What's up, girl? 
Don't tell Agent 2, but I really don't like high places either. Why did you come up here then? Stupid. Stupid. I be saying you stupid. All right. Um. Oh, there's this level. Did I not beat that one? I didn't. I did not beat this one. I did not realize there was a level that had not been completed yet. And I think there's one over there. There is. Oh, there sure as hell is. Secret level. Okay. Uh, torture tower. Torture tower. Torture tour. It's been a long night, guys. <laughs> I've been playing Splatoon for 36 hours straight. You know what I'm saying? I, I got I, I, don't, it's, I get it. I get it now. I get it. Okay, um, I'm gonna go with this and see if we can breeze through this. See how quickly we can get through. Find a way to the goal, okay. Well, there's hella money to be had here, so don't mind if I do. Torture Tour, don't name your level that. I have a feeling this is not going to be a good level if it's named Torture Tour. Like I said, all the peaceful level names end up being the worst ones. Um, they have a great way of subverting expectations like that. Whereas, the, okay, well, I see I need to get that, but oh, I have to go over here. Okay, let's use the Roomba. That's not the Roomba, those are burst bombs. Glad I cracked that mystery. Hate those, okay. Um, torture Tour, not, not a fan of it. This isn't too bad, it's just a bunch of enemies everywhere, which is fine. Something we haven't dealt with before. We can do this. I'm gonna come, I'm coming for you next. Don't you, I'm coming for you. Don't think you're safe over there. Let's get to skip. Potential level skip right there if you know the tech. I bet. Not me, of course. I don't know the level. I don't know the tech. I'm not that good at this game yet. But I'm, I'm learning, guys. I really am. Jeez. What's that sound? Oh, I thought somebody was frying chicken. There's a goddamn little guy, a little missile guy trying to have a bad time. Thank you. Oh, wait, we go. <gasps> you want to die? Yes, you do! Ooh, that was messed up. Ooh, ouchies, ouchies. Ah, that was a little extreme, but I felt it was necessary. Uh, man, Stamp is a really violent weapon, so I feel like we need to embrace it, you know? Might as well try. Hey, dude, you want to see a cool trick? Achoo! Ooh, that was weird, right? Funny trick. Oh my god, these guys who have the teleporties on their heads that make them spin around real quick. They're the worst. Not as bad as those little running guys on the ground. Why would I free you? No, 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 no. Nobody frees you. You stay there and you rot. You did something bad to earn that sentence. You know what I'm saying? It's not my fault. So we still don't know why the Octarians are hairy. We don't know why there's fur everywhere. Does it have anything to do with humans trying to create creatures? I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Really weird. I guess I have to free this guy. I don't want to. I guess I will. Oh, it's the end of level. Well, oh, that's not quite the end of level. There we are. And... Done. All right, there we go. One more level after this, I believe. And then we can... First, we'll read our alternate log once that level is done. And get more updates on the lore, and then uh, I got a weird itch just then. You ever get those weird itches that just kind of hit you, and you're just like, eh. "That's what just happened." <laughs> that probably sounded so stupid on camera. What are the, sh what are the chances I make that? Hmm, slim to none, it seems. Oh, just let's enjoy the whole fall. Did you see Buddy jump ship last second? He was like, "No, dude, I'm not going with you." And I'm just drop down here. Ooh, that's a satisfying plunk. It was a big one. It was probably the biggest one we'll ever get. An insane fall. Well, I guess that, that would technically be higher. Uh, let's see, is this green? It's not. So we can probably head to this. I, I'd like to go to the level, really? I want to go to the level, please. Please and thank you. Okay, away we go. That's the one. New area discovered. Any secrets for me here? No, just a little power. Here we go. This might be the last level in the game. The enemy, I the enemy ink is lava. Reach the goal without touching enemy ink at all. Of course, they're gonna make it the worst shit for me. The worst experience. I can't wait. 
I simply can't <laughs> simply can't wait, dude. Oh boy. What a joy we have. Oh god, what even is this? In this mission you must reach the goal on time with that. On time? It's timed? Oh no. I'm not going to have a good time is what I'm not going to have. Okay, well, we have Roombas. We have only Roombas. I touched it. That's great. I love just, I love that. I love that I get shit on my shortcomings. Okay. Refill. I definitely touched enemy ink just then. The game did not recognize it, but I, it, I, I mean, I felt the vibration and everything. What? You don't get a refill? Aw, oh, dog, who made this level? Aw, oh, dog, what? So if you just don't do that right, you're straight up effed. This sucks. Okay, that's fine, I can do this. You know what, I'm not worried in the slightest. So I gotta aim it perfectly on that. That. Yes, like that, that's what I needed to do. Okay, there you go. Hit it within the time limit. Um, I'm thinking that's probably a sharp enough angle. Ooh, just barely. I don't need it. I don't need that. <laughs> it's trying to convince me. I don't need it. I don't need that either. I'm not gonna- I'm not. I'm not doing any of the BS. No, go with it. Well, okay. You don't have to actually- I guess- I mean, we are in a rush, but it's 10 minutes, so it's like... Surely we have enough time. Oh my god, there's a lot of bullshit. Okay. Surely we have enough time to pull this off. And there's a checkpoint. Oh, great. Alright, I'm going to wait for this. Did that work? It did. Okay. Got me here. I'm not worried about those extra points. I don't need them, dude. I do need that. I have 11 minutes to figure this out. So that's what it is. It's just giving me time to solve the puzzle. Which I can do... Uh-oh. Okay. I think it allowed me to mess up, because then I can get this. Which is phenomenal. Um, but I think utterly pointless, right? No, it's not. Because if I do this... Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, dude! Yeah! Oh, I have to keep going. Okay. So now what we can do is we can stand here and throw that. Uh-oh, was the timing bad on that? It was. Shoot. Is there another ink tank somewhere? There isn't. So am I just screwed? There must be some way I can make that. Oh my god, I made it! <laughs> I was definitely not supposed to make that, but I did it anyway. I subverted expectations as usual. Okay. Okay, here we go. We gotta be cautious here. Now this, I'm definitely gonna mess up. 100%. 100% whiff in this part. Or am I? Maybe I'm not! Oh my god! This is- this level is crazy. It's a straight shot, dude. It's a straight shot. Go! Okay, made it. Oh, it's not so much a straight shot here. Okay. Timing has to be perfect. Go. Think. No, no! Oh, man. Can I do that? No, <sighs> oh, I knew I couldn't. Oh, I made it that far, impressively, and I couldn't, I couldn't do it. Okay, we're starting here again, which is fine. Um, I can, I can handle this. I definitely touched it then, but I guess I didn't touch enough. Okay. Uh, let's wait for this to go by, and then go. Okay, let's not mess this up this time. Get it at a good. Oh, you suck, dude. Mm oh, oh my god, you can make that. What? That's. I was at the end of the level anyway. Oh my god, dude, really? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. I was that. I, all I had to do was make that jump, and I would have had a clean sweep all the way through. Oh, man. That was insane. That was an insane level. And a good way to end it if that's the last normal level before we enter the the rocket ship, I presume. It's got to be where we're going. We have to we have to do the next boss fight and presumably get another piece of whatever the hell it is we're building. Um speaking of building, let's get on top of this one. 
I think this is the right path, right? This leads me to... Yeah, okay. Go. There was no level there. There's a scroll there! How do you get that? Well, I guess we'll find out in a second. But first, let's read our alternate log. Because, uh, ooh, because we should be done? No, we have to do the boss to get it. The beings that had emerged from the water soon emerged from the caverns of Eterna, blah blah blah. Okay. Uh, the Apocal event was great. The Apocal event gave great significance to the crater above Alterna and its surrounding territories, now referred to as the Splatlands. The region would, from that point on, be known as the Land of the Fresh Beginnings, among the creatures that now thrive on the surface. These newly evolved beings, having scattered themselves across the globe, soon gave rise to distinct cultures and unique ways of life. Out of all these species now roaming Earth, squids and octopuses soon distinguished themselves via intelligence and fresh vibes, so to speak. It wasn't too long before they became apex species, the apex species of the planet. Wow. This is fascinating. Now, I must fast forward a bit. 5,000 years later, a peculiar individual was born. This, this squid quickly rose to fame in the Splatlands due to some unique characteristics. Oh, I gotta know! I gotta know who he was! He grew because he had unique characteristics? Oh, we gotta find out. We gotta do this boss. We can find out. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. All right, we have a boss fight. The Obscurist Chiroscurist. Fight your way to the exit. That's all you had to say. Just say the next boss. Just say the third or fourth boss, whichever one this is. That's all it is, dude. Just say that. Just say that. Dude, just say that, dude. Come on, dude. You just said that, dude. Come on, dude. All right. Whoa. This looks crazy. The, like the, the, the toilet paper rolls. And the... That's a lot of decoration. And the cubes? And the giant band floating around us. Whoa! Look at the size of that. And it's so quiet. Hmm. Alright, let's see what's going on. Oh, it's Bigman! There he is! <laughs> My favorite character. Uh oh. Hold it right there! Okay. Understood. I'm holding. This treasure isn't yours. You can't have it! I wouldn't fight you if I didn't have to, but this is, this is for Splatsville. What is he do? Oh, he's green and naked! That looks- <gasps> It's the Manta Ray from Mario Sunshine! What? 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 <laughs> Yo. Yo. And it's the same color and everything. Yo. No way. And he splits into multiple pieces. Oh my god. You have no idea how happy this makes me, dude. This is... Oh my god! Splatoon referencing Mario Sunshine. No way! Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm like over the moon right now. Oh my god, this is so funny. Oh my god. It's the exact same color as, um... What, oh, what was it named? Uh, the beach, what was it named? I don't remember what the beach was named. Serena Beach? Serena Beach! And this was the color of the ink. It's cool, it's like a pattern though. Oh my god, I love this. It's like one of the most notorious Super Mario uh, Sunshine levels, where there's a manta ray that comes out of the water, and he looks like this, and he breaks down into smaller pieces when you kill him, and he leaves a trail of green and blue ink like that behind, and it's just... Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe this. I I'm, I'm losing my mind right now. This is so fun. This is so good. You know, it's so funny, because Splatoon has always been 
like, a, oh, this game is like Mario Sunshine because there's ink and there's shooting and there's whatever else. It's cool. How about if I just do this? That actually kind of helped a little bit. Not an insane amount, but it helped a little bit. Um, oh, and when, when you got him to almost dead, they turned purple. Maybe these ones will turn purple? When they're really small? They turn invisible. It's even worse, actually. <laughs> it's kind of the worst outcome. Can't see them. Um, yeah, but Splatoon and Mario Sunshine are notorious for being similar in the sense that they have ink and paint and whatever, and you splat it around and you shoot stuff. I can't believe they finally referenced it. Unless, unless this is like a folklore thing that they're referencing. He has an M on his hat like Mario. Anyways. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm just I love this so much unless that's like a folklore thing where that's like oh It's a it's a thing that like actually happens or It's like a like a like an ancient story or some kind that's inspired by but I, I'd like to believe they based it directly off of Mario Sunshine Because if so, oh that makes me so happy. Well, we got the engine. It looks like a rotary engine it, No, it's not it's definitely a two-piston. All right, so we, we're definitely building a motorcycle dude. We're 100% building a motorcycle. That's it. We beat every sector. It, this feels like this has been the longest series of my life. <laughs> that we've done. Like, hour-long episodes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. The captain says, you crushed it, Agent 3. And they also had some choice things to say about Deep Cut. Wouldn't want to be them right now. <gasps> Kid me? Come in, do you copy? Rams, we read you. Not uh, exactly loud and clear, but we read you. What's up? Are you okay? What's happening where you are? <laughs> Finally got this dad blast, dad blasted thing. I would have rather you swore, Cuttlefish. I got this dad blasted thing working again. Okay, so here's my report. I'm being held captive by someone or something calling themselves Mr. Grizz, and that I heard that loud and clear. As for where I am, beats me. But, my left knee is aching something fierce, which means I'm at altitude, somewhere high up. Is that what that means? Is that something that, something that means? Well, that's a pretty good hint. Um, there's only one place that fits the bill, right? He's gotta be on top of the rocket ship. Well, well, your injured knee may have betrayed this location, but don't expect any workers comp. Thank you for this, by the way. I won't underest- I won't underestimate the legendary leader of the Squidbeak's platoon again. I'll just go ahead and deal with you now, before you become an actual inconvenience. Wait a minute- Hey, what's that? What do you think you're doing? Yeah, He's probing him. He's definitely probing- Oh, that didn't sound great for Gramps. You think so? I don't think it did. Okay. Straight ahead? Now look to the right? Looked like a thumbs up. I thought it was someone giving a thumbs up. I was like, hey! That guy looks like he's doing pretty good. <laughs> okay, anyway. Gramps, we're coming for you. Stay strong. Oh, how the hell are we going to get up there? Exactly, Callie. That's what I'm saying. Just as soon as we figure out how to get there. Perhaps these pieces that we collected could come in handy. I, I, could, just, I could just talk. And the game will speak for me, too. Why don't you take a closer look at it? It might just be our ticket to that rocket. We got to build a helicopter out of these pieces, dude. I think it's pretty clear that we have to get to that rocket somehow. Are you ready to try this? I think we gotta try it next episode. Oh! Hold on. Before we finish, I wanna finish reading the archive. The alternate logs. Apparently, we didn't finish this. What? Did it not beat every level? Yes, this individual was embraced as a prophet, gifted with numerous relations that they shared among their fellow squids. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Pause the episode. Hang on. Did we not beat everything? I didn't go over here. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I didn't go here, I didn't beat this one. That, that wasn't the final level. Wait, there's more. Don't go yet, don't go. Stay tuned, there's more. Oh snap, dude. I did not even see this level. Oh, you guys are probably yelling at me in the comments for missing this one. I genuinely did not see this one. Oh man, okay, here we go. Inkjet time, okay. This is the true last level. <laughs> <laughs> Bonus content episodes a little longer than you thought it was, huh? Okay, here we go. This should be easy though. I, these levels are breezy, easy breezy, beautiful cover going. I'm saying, not even a problem. Excuse me. Are you dead yet? You are. Give me that. Oh, I should have. Well, whatever. I don't really care. I don't need him at this point. Wee! 
I'm gonna die. I'm not. That's a big sticker. <laughs> what is that a sticker of? Is it a seal? Maybe? Probably a seal, I would guess. <gasps> oh my god. And go. Oh, your inkjet protects you. Okay. We can go through here. Uh, this music is fun. I can't. I just love how weird it is. It's so not like regular Splatoon. It's just really bizarre, and I love that, honestly. I love that for us. Ooh, careful. Here we go. See, this is what I mean about Inkjet. Like, the... Just down to the actual shot. Look at that. It looks more solid. You feel the explosion. It's just way more... satisfying to use than it was in Splatoon. Uh, in Splatoon 2. Which is a shame, because I'm not going to be using it um, with the Nautilus, like I, you know, was able to in the last game, which kind of sucks. But I like that things are mixed up a little bit. Uh, you know, I would, I would, honestly, if Splatoon 2 was just me using the same Nautilus with the same kit, or Splatoon 3 was me using the same Nautilus with the same kit, it would just be Splatoon 2 again. So I'm glad that it's something different to help mix up the experience, you know. Oh my god. Oh boy. Can I reach that? I can't. Do I have to wing it? Oh, there's no way. Oh, I can reach it. Okay, I was like, there's no way I gotta just wing it. Okay, that makes more sense. I was like, dude, there's no way. Now we have a nice stroll. The final piece. And test complete, baby. Nicely done. GG's. Okay. That is... That's everything done. I think. Now we can finish the Alterna logs and see what the hell is going on. I hope. I hope we can finish the Alterna logs and see what the hell's going on. Now this should be- nope. Now this should be finished. It's not! There's still another level! Where is that level? I'm gonna find it, y'all. I bet you it's there. <clears throat> but how do I get there? I gotta figure out how to get there. Let's see. There- oh, it definitely is. Look. I went right past it, too. I can't believe I missed two levels. <laughs> I'm such an idiot, I did this in such a dumb order. I'm sorry, this is probably- it's probably unsatisfying that I did it in this order. But who cares, right? I'm just here to have fun. That sinking feeling. This is the final level of Splatoon 3. <laughs> For real this time, I promise. It's the final level of Splatoon 3. I swear, guys, I swear. Trust me, I, I checked the Alterna logs. Oh, uh, okay. Whoa. It looks like the GameCube intro. <laughs> you know what I mean? When you go to the GameCube and activate the menu. Whoa. Okay, so we just gotta get to the top. To get up where we need to go, we could do that. Gotcha. Oh, the level's falling. Oh, that's what's going on. Oh, I see. Okay. So we just gotta speed- we have to actually speed run this. Just friggin' just go, dude. Just absolutely move it, move it. Go, 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 go. Oh, shit! That was close. Don't even worry about the enemies. We can't- we literally can't. I'm gonna die, straight up. Oh, go, 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 go! Oh, I don't like how stressful this is. I hate it, I hate it. Go climb. Ooh, get in. Okay, 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 we're doing all right. We're almost there. This reminds me also of a Mario Galaxy level, the multi-molten galaxy, I think it's called. Oh no, that's not cool. No, 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 they're going fast. They're going fast like hotcakes. Oh, okay, made it, done. That was, okay, that was stressful. <laughs> really cool level design. Very stressful. Yeah, the sinking feeling, I wonder what it was. We'll never know. We will never know what the sinking feeling was. Okay. That, I, that has to be everything, right? There's no way there's another level. That's gotta be it. It's gotta be the whole sauce, right? It's gotta be everything. Can I unlock this yet? I can. Here we go, fine, good. Let's upgrade this real quick, since we're here. Nice. Got that, whatever the hell that is. Um... I don't like that. I need more for that. Oh, we'll probably get that. I'll probably get that off camera. Just go and find the other two um, sardiniums I need. Suit recovery up. Very nice. That's nice. And better sensor. Okay, cool. 
So we're good. So now we can finish the alternal logs. Oh, okay, now it's done. Whoo! I was really good at getting it up until this point. Okay. Oh my god. It's fucking Cthulhu. Yes, this individual was embraced as a prophet, gifted with numerous relations that they shared among their fellow squids. It was another turning point for squid kind. During this period, the foundation for, mo for modern cephalopod civilization were laid. That individual squid is now likely known and celebrated as the progenitor of the modern day inkling. Progenitor? Progen progen pro progenitor. Progenitor. Protege. Whatever. Anyway, that's the first inkling. Handsome devil, isn't he? <laughs> wow, okay. Cool. That's it. That's all the logs. I mean, there might be more. There might be a seventh one at the bottom. Or maybe that's just it. Maybe that just is like, this is the first of the inklings after they evolved. And this is how it happens. Because it starts with humanity dying. The whole story about how it happened and then ends with the rise of the inkling. Oh, that's... I love that. I love the story. How amazing is that, dude? How absolutely amazing. And now that's how Inklings came to be. Wow. And that's how the squids change their color and they do... Wow. Oh, man, this is so fascinating. All right. We're going to beat this game next episode, I think. I think next time's going to be the finale. I hope you guys are ready. Because I am not. Are you ready, little buddy? I think he's a little ready. Go get him, champ. What a hero. All right, y'all. We'll see you in the next episode when we do the finale, I think.